Hey there, Mr. Thayer from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship with another review lesson. Uh, today we're going to flip the switch a little bit here and we are going to work on some division. All right, so here's lesson four. Um, understanding the meaning of division, separating numbers into equal groups, and the word array is up there. So basically, we are going to just look at two division problems and understand what they're asking in terms of dividing things. All right, for now, we are dividing things into groups, into equal groups, all right? As we go on a little bit later on in math, we're going to see that some things are not going to divide equally, but for now, our groups are going to be equal, all right? I, when I taught division earlier in the unit, I like to talk about if you order a piece of uh, a large pizza with your family and everyone gets an equal amount of pizza. So we divided it by slices. One person gets a slice, another person gets a slice, and so on. We give everybody... A slice of pizza till it's gone and that everyone gets the same amount and so it's equal. Today we're going to look at two division problems in which we are going to um, divide things into groupings. Um, I think we're going to divide some cookies on a plate and we're going to divide some oranges into a bag. All right and our goal is to separate things and make sure that each bag or each plate has the same amount. Okay. We're also going to write out a division problem and show what it looks like and just basically walk through these things just to get, get an eye on, keep an eye on them and understand what is being asked. Okay, so today, like I said, is a review. Let's slow it down. Let's check it out. So our first question here is Jack has eight cookies and oh, excuse me, that's I got to fix that. Good thing I caught that. Jack has eight cookies and four plates is what I wanted. There, there we go. Fixed it. That's okay. Jack has eight, Jake has eight cookies and four plates. He puts the same number of cookies on each plate. How many cookies on each? So over here, I have my cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight cookies. And over here, I have four plates. Okay? Eight cookies and four plates. I like sometimes, I like to put over here, put the numbers of what I have. Eight cookies. I can come in here and I can circle that as well. Eight cookies in four plates. So our job is to take these cookies and divide them onto the plates. Now remember, each plate has to have an equal amount. Okay, We can't just take a bunch, put, put some here, some there. Maybe someone doesn't get something. They have to be equal. So that means that everyone has to get the same amount. Okay. So for our problem, we're going to write eight cookies divided by four plates equals. Eight divided by four equals. So we're trying to find the answer. We have to figure out how many cookies are going to go on each plate. Okay? So eight divided by four. If I know that, some of you guys might already know that and say, oh, I know the answer to that, Mr. Thayer. That's simple. All right? But if not, I can take this. I can use my picture and I can break it down. So what I like to do is I'll just take, I'll cross out one cookie, I'll put one there. I'll come over, cross out another cookie, put it there. Okay. Take this cookie, put it on this plate. Take this cookie, put it on that plate. Okay. So, so far each plate has one cookie. I got some left here. I'll cross out another cookie, put that here. Come over here, cross out that cookie, put it here. Come over here, cross out that cookie, put it on this plate. And I have one cookie left, I put it on that plate right there. Okay, so all I did was I used the I used the problem there. I used the picture. I took the cookies. I took the cookies, I crossed one out, I put them over here, and I put one on each plate. I went around and I gave each person one cookie. I kept going around until all my cookies were passed out, okay? So in this case, I had eight cookies, and I passed them out into four plates. One plate, two plate, three plates, four plates, and then I started again. One plate, two plate, three plate, four plate, and I just kept going around. So if I have eight cookies right here, and I divide them up onto four plates, how many cookies are on each plate? Take a look. This plate has two two, two, and two. So there are two cookies on each plate. Okay? 
So eight cookies divided by four plates equals two cookies on each plate. All right. Very good. So that's just saying, say there was four of us hanging out. We had eight cookies. Each one of us would have gotten two cookies. Okay. Notice how they're all equal. Everyone got the same amount here. Nobody got more. No one got less. Everyone got two cookies. All right. So that's basically, that's, that's division right there. That's just, just showing you how I can take a picture and I can break that down. I could also, you're going to see where you're going to get just the number sentence there. You might have to draw a picture. You might have to draw the cookies out or draw the plates out and actually work through that. That's part of third grade math is giving, taking, like I said, I always talk about building a puzzle, taking what they're giving you, right? And making those answers work and doing the steps. Okay. One more problem. Let's tackle this last problem here for review. It says Mark picked 10 oranges. Here's my oranges over here. He has five bags. How many oranges in each bag? Okay. So we know we have 10 oranges. We have five bags. Okay. That 10 is, let's fix it. There we go. So we have 10 oranges divided into five bags. Okay. So let's pretend I have a box full of oranges. Now I got to put one in each bag to divide them. Okay, 10 divided by five. Some of you guys might already know that answer, knowing our factors, knowing stuff. We might already know, hmm, I know what that's going to be. 10 divided by five. So let's just take our oranges, let's put them in, in a bag. Put one orange here, one orange here, one orange here. All I'm doing is taking an orange, moving it over into the bag. Taking an orange, moving it over there. I still have more oranges. All right, we go back to the beginning now. Put an orange in that bag. Put an orange in that bag. Orange in that bag. I got two oranges left. Put an orange in that bag. And right here, put an orange in that bag. Boom, got it. So as you can see, I crossed out all my oranges. I equally distributed them. Group bag one, bag two, bag three, bag four, bag five. I started again. Bag one, bag two, bag three, bag four, bag five. I went around. And each bag you can see has two oranges in it. So ten oranges divided by five bags equals two oranges in each bag. Ten divided by five equals two. Okay? That's how we take some problems and we divide things. Right now, we're dividing them equally, okay? So when we're doing those uh, division problems, if a group, if all your groups have two and one of them has three, something's not right. Um, right now, making sure everything is equal. That means everyone is getting the same amount of things, same amount of items. So keep that in mind as you're practicing these things that everyone is breaking down into equal groups, okay? And I could go back to the whole pizza, the pizza idea of, you know, you cut a pizza into slices and everyone gets that slice. We just keep working it around until everyone has the same amount. Okay. That was just a quick review on division. Head over to the exit ticket. Uh, look at some of those, those um, division problems. And I will post some feedback after I look at everything. Have a good day. Mr. Thayer saying, see you later.